Uh, the theme of this conference is critical issues at the intersection of science and faith. Uh, the first talk of today's morning session will be given by me, but before I give my talk, there'll be an, the announcement of the 2023 St. Albert Award, which is being given to Professor Anthony Ichiro Sanda. Uh, after I read the announcement of the award, I will read Professor Sanda's uh, letter accepting the award, uh, because uh, unfortunately he could not be here for this conference, but he sent a very gracious letter of acceptance. So the St. Albert, uh, it, at its annual conferences, the Society of Catholic Scientists presents an award named after St. Albert the Great, patron saint of natural scientists, to a Catholic scientist whose life and work give witness to the harmony between <clears throat> the, uh, the vocation of scientist and the life of faith. The witness recognized by this award may be given in various ways, including distinguished achievement in scientific research by a scientist who is a faithful Catholic, writing that illuminates the relationship of science and faith, or service to the scientific community, to society, or to the church. This year's award is being given to Professor Anthony Ichiro Sanda in recognition of his achievement in all three areas. He has won numerous scientific awards in the US and Japan for his contributions to theoretical particle physics. He has written and spoken extensively in his native country of Japan on the relation of science and the Catholic faith, including writing a book in Japanese entitled, As a Scientist, Why Do I Believe in God? <clears throat> he was ordained as a permanent deacon for the Diocese of Nagoya in May 2006 and was transferred to the Archdiocese of Tokyo in April 2011. Professor Sanda received his BS in physics from the University of Illinois in 1965 and his PhD from Princeton University in 1969. He did research at Columbia University and Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory before taking a faculty position at Rockefeller University, uh, at Rockefeller University. In 1992, he became professor of physics at Nagoya University uh, and a professor at, uh, 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 and since 2006, he has been a professor emeritus at Nagoya University and a professor at Kanagawa University. Since 2007, he has also been a program officer of the Kavli Institute for the Physics and Mathematics of the Universe at the University of Tokyo. Professor Sanda is well known in the field of theoretical particle physics for several major achievements. One is the development in a paper with Fujikawa and Lee of a powerful and widely used technique for doing calculations in quantum field theories with spontaneous broken, spontaneously broken gauge symmetry an important type of theory that includes the part of the standard model of particle physics that describes the electroweak force. Even more influential was his theoretical work with Icarus Beegee and others that showed how the measurement of the properties of B mesons could be a powerful tool in understanding how CP symmetry, a symmetry that relates particles and antiparticles, is violated in nature. This work motivated and guided a large area of experimental research, uh, experimental, uh, 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 particle physics research at laboratories throughout the world. <clears throat> For this work, Professor Sanda and Professor Icarus Beegee received the 2004 Sakurai Prize, the highest award given by the American Physical Society for work in theoretical particle physics. He's also received numerous awards in Japan, including the Inoue Prize for Science in 1993, the Nishina Memorial Prize in 1997, the Ch uh, Chunichi Shimbun Prize in 2002, the Shuji Orito Prize in 2015, and two medals awarded by the Emperor of Japan, the Medal with Purple Ribbon in 2002 and the Order of the Sacred Treasure in 2017. What is most important to Professor Sanda, however, is his service to the church, both as a deacon and in his writing and speaking on science and faith. It is for his total witness to the harmony of faith and science, given by his writings, his life of service, and his intellectual achievements that the Society of Catholic Scientists honors him today. And so we can let, let us. Uh, uh, un unfortunately, Professor Sanda cannot be here today to receive the award in person. However, he sent a, a, a gracious letter of acceptance, which I will now read. He says, Dear Society of Catholic Scientists, I'm writing to express my sincere gratitude for being honored with the St. Albert Award for my work as a deacon in the Catholic Church and for my contributions to elementary particle physics. St. Albert was a great scholar and scientist 
who significantly contributed to natural philosophy and theology. He is a shining example of the compatibility between faith and science, and his life and work continues to inspire and guide scientists and believers alike. I'm humbled and honored to receive this recognition from such a respected organization. Science and religion are complementary paths to exploring the mysteries of the universe. My mission is to share this message and promote the understanding that science and faith are not conflicting but mutually enriching. Let me share my recent activities over the past three months, highlighting my dedication to this mission. This semester, I am teaching three courses, the Alpha course, God and Science, and God's Great Ideas. Through these courses, I, I aim to inspire participants to recognize the importance of Christ's sacrifices and become Christ's disciples. In April, I gave a webinar entitled, entitled, Write a Book for My Niece So That She Comes Back to Christ. One day, out of nowhere, my her five-year-old son said, Mom, I believe in God. In search for an answer to her son, she began reading the Catechism of the Catholic Church. Shortly after, she experienced a conversion and promptly arranged for her boys to be baptized. This experience reaffirmed the transformative power of faith and the impact of sharing it through various means. I delivered a webinar to seminar seminary students on God and science in early May. I also participated as a panelist answering questions related to the subject. The web webinar garnered considerable interest from individuals across Japan, demonstrating a widespread curiosity about the intersection of science and faith. This presentation will continue to promote harmonious dialogue between these two realms. I am delivering a talk titled Seeking God Through Science to 800 middle and high school students at the Sacred Heart Academy uh, just yesterday. Uh, the interactive session sparked lively discussions and raised intriguing questions providing a remarkable opportunity to share my insights with young minds eager to explore the connections between science and God. Looking ahead, I am excited about an upcoming radio interview next month. This platform will allow me to articulate and discuss my views on science and God, reaching a broader audience and further promoting the harmony between these two spheres of human understanding. Furthermore, I have been working on a YouTube reading of God's Great Idea by Father Fio uh, Mascarenas over the past two years. Recognizing the growing popularity of online platforms for faith-based learning, I believe this YouTube presentation will be a valuable resource for those studying for baptism and seeking a deeper understanding of God's plan. <clears throat> Amidst my commitments to teaching and public speaking, a divine calling from the Holy Spirit led me to an extraordinary opportunity. I had the honor of crossing paths with a man who underwent a profound transformation through very, uh, throughout various stretches of incarceration. His personal journey served as the catalyst for the founding of a nonprofit organization devoted to creating employment pathways ultimately to ultimately help deter young individuals from falling back into the prison system after their release. Recently, he approached me with a special request seeking my collaboration in imparting the teachings of Christ to these young souls. This invitation allows me to provide guidance and support nurturing their faith. While I was baptized as an infant, my profound calling to serve God became evident during my studies in physics. The awe-inspiring beauty of mathematical principles underlying physical laws stirred within me a deep appreciation for the wonders of creation. I sensed the guiding presence of the Holy Spirit during these moments of discovery. However, I was determined not to abandon my pursuit of physics midway and sought to discern my unique contribution to the field. With patience and prayers, I asked God to wait, and after 40 years, the answer finally arrived. As a result of this delay, I feel a sense of urgency, recognizing that time is not unlimited to fulfill my mission. Nonetheless, I am immensely grateful for receiving this award, as it serves as a catalyst propelling me in the right direction and motivating me to make the most of the time I have. No SES chapter exists in Japan, and establishing one would be immensely beneficial. However, given that the Catholic population in Japan is only 0.34% compared to 23% in the US, the endeavors, this endeavor may pose challenges. I, therefore, I humbly request your prayers and support to make this endeavor a reality in Japan. Once again, I express my deepest gratitude for this award. I am committed to continuing my work in the church and the scientific community with renewed passion and dedication. Your recognition of my efforts inspires me to strive for excellence in all endeavors. Thank you for your unwavering support. Love and prayers, Anthony Ichiro Sanda. <laughs>